do your job better. That's the message tonight to Cleveland police from the neighbor of a woman brutally killed in her own home. CPD's Internal Affairs is investigating the response time in Carly Capek's death. News 5 investigator Tara Morgan has been digging into this incident from the start. Okay, Tara, you spoke with that woman's daughter? Yes, and she wants answers too. She says she knows she may not get them from the man who killed her mother, but feels Cleveland police let her down and doesn't want this to happen to anyone else. I can't really sleep. The moment Christina Capek shuts her eyes, her mother's brutal death takes over her thoughts. It's your job. You know, you let a lot of people down that day. And I don't know. I get it. The police have a hard time with everything that's going on, but don't give yourselves even more of a reason to be hated. Christina was 14 when she last saw her mom, Carly. She's the oldest of four. She definitely put us before her with everything. Christina is now 19 and in college and thought about getting to know her mom again. Literally the night before it happened, I was going to go out and look for her and then he took that away from me. Calvin Nettles is charged with Capex murder on September 6. He was arrested outside her house on West 78th, naked and high on PCP, according to court records. News 5 reviewed autopsy photos, but they're too disturbing to discuss. Kapek was beaten, bitten, and slashed, according to her mother and neighbors who say police took too long to show up. I know they probably wouldn't have been able to save her, but at least make an attempt. It's my mom. I bet you if it was one of their moms, they would have been right there. Police call records show the incident time at 1234. The call transferred to EMS. EMS staged at 1245. About three minutes later, EMS asked dispatch if police have an ETA. According to the police car's GPS, they arrived at 1246. Katie Bernheimer, who called 911 several times, says internal affairs officers spoke with her last Friday and told her it was a 10 minute response. 10 minutes alone came out of the house because after she was already dead, I believe, he came out of the house naked and stood right there for like at least two minutes looking around and then went back in the house for a couple minutes. He did this four times. She recalls seeing police get there. I'm going, come on, come on, come on. No urgency. Police records show this call originated as a priority one felonious assault. It was one of 10 priority one calls between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. that day in police district two. They could have at least been there with her when she was dying though. She died alone. Christina says she has questions for police and Nettles and hopes her mother is at peace. We don't want money. We just don't want this to happen to anyone because it just hurts. And it's a type of pain that you can't just fix. And we can't bring her back. And in the almost two weeks since the murder, police and the mayor have confirmed there is an open internal investigation into the response. Okay, Tara, but back to the question, what are they saying about how long it took police to get there? Well, I've been asking for days for information about exact call times, but police are not talking to me. I'm News 5 investigator Tara Morgan. Tara, thank, uh, Tara, thank you so much. If there's something you think the News 5 investigator should be looking into, you can email investigatortips at wews.com.